Greetings of the day to everyone. My name is Sneha Gupta and I'm a senior research fellow at the Guru Gobind Singh Nirnathaprastha University, India. And I'm really glad to be presenting at the Wiki Workshop 2023. The title of my study is Feminist Activism and the Power Dynamics in the Digital Sphere, a case study of hashtag visible wiki women campaign. This is a co-authored study with my guide, Dr. Kulveen Trehan, who is a senior assistant professor at the Guru Gobind Singh Nirnathaprastha University. Women's knowledge, achievements and contribution to the world are invisible in so many ways. Power structures and systems privilege determine whose knowledge is represented online and whose voices are heard. Digital inequality is among the top five global risks in the world today and the current COVID-19 pandemic has exposed these gaps. Although the three fourths of the women online today are from the global south, yet their representation, their voice, their achievements are all missing from the global repository called Wikipedia. What is that women on Wikipedia wants? Why are notable women absent? That's what the study wants to highlight. That is the digital gender divide on the internet. The literature suggests that there has been digital gender divide across the global repository that is Wikipedia vis-a-vis -vis its content, readers and contributors. The interaction gaps or the representation gaps all have a common factor, a common variable that is gender. Various scholars have highlighted that how DGD is visible in access, participation, representation and biases against women embedded on the repository. And this article particularly examined the content of hashtag visible wiki women campaign aimed at encouraging inclusion of women specifically from the tweets of the community that was supporting the campaign on Twitter. It's a mixed method study. We've also used sentiment analysis followed by the framework of Lazar feminist critical discourse analysis. The analysis of the campaign tweets reveal how digital gender divide manifested in the public response. An overwhelming majority of tweets express positive sentiments towards the objective of the campaign. An inductive reading of the coded tweets which are almost close to 1100 tweets generated five most important themes. The Twitter discourse presented many agitated users calling out the epistemic injustice on Wikipedia that goes beyond the invisibility of women. Their tweets reveal that they want an equal social platform inclusive of women of color and varied identities currently absent from the Wikipedia universe. Along with being an imperative concern in today's digital era it also supports the un sustainable development goal 5 that is gender equality specifically target 5b enhancing the use of enabling technology in particular information and communication technology to promote the empowerment of women from the literature gaps following the research questions were emerged what are the themes and the predominant discourses emerging from the tweets of the campaign and how are they responding to the absence of the women on Wikipedia. Following the exploratory design, we studied different discursive formations and themes within the text-based tweets of the campaign. Uh, it's a qualitative research which is building on the concerns of the intersection of feminist data. We have read all tweets in English and Indian languages under the hashtag identify discursive ideas using an inductive approach. Mixed methods were adopted for the purpose of the study and computer mediated sentiment analysis of the tweets was done using NVivo 12 to understand the tonal responsive of the participants. Based on the CDA framework, we developed and scraped the tweets, uh, formed codes following which categories were developed and finally the five important themes of the research were identified. Lazar articulates five important key tenets of the FCDA which is feminist analytical activism, gender as an ideological structure and practice, complexity of gender and power relations and discourse in the deconstruction of gender and finally the critical reflexivity as praxis. We found that FCDA is a suitable framework as it enables an analysis of discursive strategies of activism and empowerment of which visible wiki women was a suitable example. An integrated analysis has been done and it's been less explored in such studies and therefore it finds prominence in this particular case. The most important themes that were 
developed using the tweets of the campaign were feminist activism, knowledge inequity and gender inequality on Wikipedia, power dynamics in the digital sphere, cultural history and marginalization of women, and technology for women empowerment. These were developed from 17 categories and 350 codes as described in the previous slide. The 17 important categories that, are, that were developed from the 350 codes were visual gender gap on Wikipedia, notable women deserves a digital identity, digital skill building, ICT for women, events for awareness building, and so on and so forth. One of the important categories was visual gender gap on Wikipedia. That was the importance of imagery and creating role models on the digital repository. To exemplify how these categories were developed from the sampler tweets, this is an example of how gender bias AI was developed from the bias towards westernized publications and knowledge sharing practices exaggerate the lack of diverse content on Wikipedia. The leader of free knowledge has a bias problem. Another tweet Twitter uh, uh, consumer said that the pics increase the chance of them being read. Big data and AI will adapt these biases and therefore we really need to address gender bias AI. Similarly, these categories were developed basis which the themes were generated. These are few more examples of how feminist activism and technology for women empowerment was developed. All the five themes had their subsidiary categories and codes to support them and all of them have been, have been operationalized and put in the paper that has been published with Media Asia which is a Taylor and Francis journal. The sentiment analysis of the campaign showcased that imagery and images were one of the important components that these supporters were trying to highlight and the campaigns were moderately and highly positive with the campaign objectives. From the voices on Twitter, it is evident that DGD is real, deep and has serious implications. The results indicated that cutting across geographies, ethnicities and socioeconomic backgrounds, we need to build an effective feminist movement for the right to digital equality. Such campaigns initiate transformative change by refuting on the production of biased cultural history based on marginalization of women. Without full and equal participation of half the population of the world, communities and societies, we will never be able to reach the potential and achieve the 2030 agenda of the Sustainable Development Goals.